How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. <laughs> it's nice to see you again. <laughs> you too. It looks like, so last time we spoke was uh, two years ago. Obviously, you look a little different now with the red hair. I like it a lot, though. Thank you. Thank you. So good to see you. I miss Virginia Beach. I, know, I, I wore Norfolk Tides jersey here just yes. specifically today. <laughs> yes. I figured I had to look I had to look super local since I wanted to ask you some local 757 type of stuff. Oh, I miss the 757. <laughs> nah. When are you coming home? I am basically just going to tell my grandma every week that um, it's soon, you know, and she gets really mad at me, but I don't know. I don't know when my grandma ask me all the time and I think this summer yeah when you get back I mean I know this is kind of where your career began you know you were singing Whitney as a 10 year old at the Norva you were doing singing competitions at Greenbrier Mall but like what's the first super Hampton Roadsy thing that you'd want to do as soon as you get back to visit grandma um I, I personally just like to chill there with the family because I have so much family there. So when I get there, it's just like family time. And and then really just, I mean, explore the city again and feel like I'm a kid. And I feel like just walk around and where I used to go out. And um, I mean, I don't know, just like, you know, do as much as I can because I'm always there for a short amount of time. <laughs> that's true. That's the, uh, that's the nature of the beast being a multi-platinum selling chart topping pop star is that you never really stick around for too long matter of fact where are you right now i'm in las vegas right now yeah what you doing there anything crazy no i mean i did have a photo shoot yesterday and i'm going back to la today Okay. Well, let's talk about the motto with Tiesto, your latest single that I personally have been bumping quite a bit, and we've been bumping on the station even more. So <laughs> I was watching the music video for that one, and I know you have expressed before that you weren't really into crypto, but they kind of threw some crypto stuff in the music video just for fun. Has that inspired you to look into it? Are you now like an NFT person, or are you still kind of clueless about it? You know, I am now understanding it more. I didn't know much about it until I started working with Joseph Kahn. Um, so I think it's really cool because it gives artists opportunities to, you know, and fans opportunities to do what they want. And it takes out the middleman. And it's kind of like, it's it's really, really cool to, you know, get into a space where you don't need like someone else to help you do something. You can just go online and do something. Or if you're feeling creative one day, you know, it's it's really cool. Definitely. And the music that we got to experience with the motto is very similar to some of the other songs you've done before, My Head and My Heart, for example. But I personally love club banger Ava Max. Are we going to keep getting her as time goes on? Um, I mean, yeah, I love club music. I really do. I mean, this is my first time doing a song like the motto, um, but I'm definitely going to do more. Yeah. You've got a song coming soon called Maybe You're the Problem. I heard you uh, revealing that at the Billboard Women in Music Awards. That is not a club banger, though, is it? You know, it could be, but it's more like an 80s pop anthemic record. Okay, so not quite crying in the club, but not quite dancing <laughs> in the club. <laughs> it's more like an F you. <laughs> is that something you say in the song? Are you dropping bombs? Um, You know, I feel like... Yeah, I'm going to let you decide. <laughs> okay. We will find out. Now, another thing that really makes you unique is just your look, the way that you're always trying to change things up, uh, whether it's doing a photo shoot or it's doing a music video, you never get the same Ava Max twice. So what are some looks that you've been thinking about being like, yeah, I want to do something that looks like this next. What is this for you? What's the next step visually? The next step visually is... Uh, actually being worked on now and I'm really excited to show everybody it's it's very different it's more again vul I'm gonna keep saying vulnerable because I feel like <laughs> that's the word of the year <laughs> very vulnerable for me what would that include would that be a little bit less maybe high tech a little bit less maybe glamour and more stripped I bare almost um you can kind of say strip bare but not too much I think it's, right. it's just a different side of me you know Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, another thing that's a side of you that doesn't come out very often is your Albanian heritage. 
Uh, yeah. That is something that I read. You can speak the language. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. It was my first language. Wow. Okay. Do you ever connect or say anything specifically to your fans out there in Albania? Do they do they love you out there? Well, I DM them sometimes, and I think it's like fun to do that and kind of you know I send them little videos of me speaking Albanian sometimes like randomly and uh, it's really cool to connect with um, people in a different language. Wow, no kidding. So I guess the big story here then is that you reply to DMs from fans? I do. <laughs> wow, that could be a risky business, but I guess you make some good friends that way, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a focus group. You could kind of, do you ever pitch ideas to fans? Be like, hey, I was trying to do this. And you guys, what do you think about it? I, I mean, I, kind of, it could be like that. No, I, I kind of do it randomly. Like it could be like one night for an hour, you know? And then I go through so many DMs and I send pictures. I'm like, hey, what's up? And That's it's just cool. random stuff. Well, I want to ask you a deep question, Ava. I want to get deep here for just a second. So here we go. It's been two years since we spoke. Two years ago, the world was in a very, very different place. Uh, a lot of us scared, terrified, not quite sure what was going on. And now it finally looks like we're coming out of it. What is something for you that you learned about yourself during the difficult years of the pandemic that you don't think you could have without having gone through that? I think to slow down and to enjoy my life. You know, I think all of us need to enjoy our lives and our day to day, even the little things like going to get coffee, going to going to take a walk outside in nature, um, how to be alone. I think that's super important. I like Definitely. being alone more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, okay. Okay. Well, that was a good answer for a deep question. So thank you for that. Uh, last but not least, as we look forward to the future for you, I noticed your current Twitter bio says coming soon. So I have to ask what is coming soon? You know, it is definitely the single coming up and maybe something else. Yeah. Mm, maybe something else is, I know I can't, I can't press you for all the details, but is it something where maybe you're looking to create another body of work, another album anytime soon? Maybe. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, uh, whatever the deal may be, uh, make sure that, you know, your, your creative promo team comes up with more great ideas like these. I brought in my Oh, yeah, the match oh my play. god, I missed those. I need to find yeah. mine. Yeah. So whatever the deal may be, I, I can't think of any puns for maybe you're the problem, but I don't know. You've probably got some ideas kicking around that you could come up with something really cool for. So hey, you let yeah. us know when you're ready to share that with the world, okay? I <laughs> In the meantime, we'll keep banging the motto featuring Tiesto. I'll keep watching that music video and checking my crypto, hoping that it does as well as yours. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was lovely to catch up with you. I mean, it's it's nice to be able to kind of have a hometown pop star, somebody who's from the area. And we bring it up all the time. We're really proud of you and everything that you're doing. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. I miss Virginia Beach so much. Next time you're coming through, you know where to find us. You've been here. You've been right in front of this banner before. Yeah. So. <laughs> Hopefully we get to uh, hopefully we get to link up sometime soon in between grandma visits. Thank you so much for coming on, Ava. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you.